What's going on guys? Drones and Dogs here. Welcome back to the channel. Alright you guys. RC update for you guys. I got an update for you guys. But before I give you this update, before I give you this update, I need you to go ahead and bow, 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 bow. Smash that like button. Smash that like button. And we can go ahead and get into this update that I got for y'all. Because I know y'all want to hear this. I know you want to hear this news that I got for y'all. Go ahead and hit that like button. All right, let's get Quit playing, guys. Quit playing. You didn't hit the like button. I know you didn't hit it. Hit the like button. All right. Now we can get into this video. Now that you really hit the like button, for real. Now, I got for you guys today. This is the KF plan. Or on Amazon, it's branded as the Fui. Fui KF plan KF 10. All right, this is a 110 scale four wheel drive. Comes brush stock on stock out the box. Now, you guys know I've been running this thing for several weeks now. It comes brush, it comes with a 550 brush motor, LED lights, all that good stuff. Two uh, lipo batteries. Um, you guys know I've been running it for several weeks, and I know a lot of you guys have been asking me. Don't think I don't read your comments because I do. A lot of you guys have been asking me about part availability part support because you guys really want to pick it up and a lot of you guys been shying away from it because you guys say you don't want to pick it up and if there's no parts available and i understand that so update for you guys bow, bow. yes there is part availability for you guys so like i said you guys know i've been running this truck for several weeks now guys and this truck has been plenty durable it's held up i haven't broken anything except on the last run if you guys go to my live video, I try to see if I can have a clip popping up. But if you go to my live video, you see me and my boy Joey, we was running it and we crashed into each We was going like full speed out here, going like 40 miles per hour, guys. And we crashed into each other. And this thing rolled, flipped, and tumbled. And out of that big old crash on the concrete, only thing that I broke was a drive shaft. I broke a front drive shaft. And I know, uh, like I said, everybody was wondering about part availability. And guess what? I was able to get parts from Amazon. I was able to order the drive shafts. They also had a couple other different parts, like the front bumper and other stuff you can get. You can get the um, the assembly for the uh, the latch assembly for the body. So parts are coming in for this bad boy, which is a good thing. Which means they're backing up this vehicle. And like I said, it's been it's been plenty durable. Other than that, and like I said, that was my fault crashing into him. Otherwise, it probably wouldn't have broke. So. Let's go ahead and do a quick run of this bad boy. I will leave a link in the description for the parts. So if you guys are interested in picking one up or if you did pick one up and you want to uh, get some parts or know where the parts are, I will leave a link in the description. I'm your boy, Draws the Dog. Let's get into this video. Let's get it. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm out here with this KF plan. KF10. You guys remember in that last live video, I broke that drive shaft, the front drive shaft, and it was a, it was pretty much a three-legger for a second. And uh, you see it's back rolling now. I will put a link in the description. I'm so glad they got them, uh, they updated it and got the parts for this bad boy because this is a nice truck, guys. I like this truck. I really do. This is one of my favorite budget bashers i'm telling you i really do like this truck for what about a hundred dollars hundred buck range it's a good truck now you guys know mine mine is brushless so yours is not gonna go this fast out of the box you're gonna get about 20 miles per hour out of the box with the 550 brush loader that it comes with Ooh, on 2s can't run 3s i, I believe uh Check out Robbie Banky of Buck RC. He ran it on the stock brush motor. He ran it on 3S. I can't remember what speed he got though. But go ahead and check out his video if you want to uh, see what kind of speeds you get on stock 2S and 3S. I did a stock 2S lipo run, but I did not run mine on 3S stock. This thing is a ripper. It's a ripper. You get two uh, lipo batteries, but the lipo batteries that you get with this thing are kind of sketchy. My trimming is way, my trimming is off. Why do my trimming be doing that? Let me get the steering trim right just a little bit. 
I hear a car coming from behind me. There we go. And you guys know it comes with uh, friction shocks as well, but um, I put oil filter shocks on it. With all the power that I got going through it now, I definitely needed the uh, oil filter shocks. It was, it was cool with the friction shocks, but with the brush motor, but with the this brush motor, it definitely needs the uh, oil filter shock to help it out, especially like when hitting jumps and stuff like that. So, now I'm not, I'm, ooh, I'm not sure if uh, KF Plan themselves are gonna come out with their own oil filter shocks. I'll just put some uh, oil filter ones that I had myself. But I'm pretty sure they may can't come out with their own uh, stock oil filter shocks that they can, you could probably purchase. So to me, in my opinion, it's good to see some competition in the um, hobby, guys. To see some, just some other companies coming out and just doing some innovative things and trying to um, keep up with the bigger boys and doing stuff like this, you know? We obviously know what this is a, a rebrand of or what they're trying to make it look like, so. Oh, please land on your feet. Hey. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. <laughs> she said she was just watching it. That's a uh, that's another thing about these this hobby, guys. These RC cars, people are not used to seeing these cars go this fast. And that lady was like, "I was just watching it." <laughs> I'm like, "That's cool. You can watch." A lot of people, uh, they don't they don't get used to seeing these cars do this kind of stuff. And when they see it, they be amazed. That's it. Ooh, that's thick grass. Thick, thick, thick stuff. So these kind of fast RCs like this always draw the people attention. You can see, guys, the KF plan is a it's an eye catcher. It's a it's an eye catcher. Oh, got some grass caught up in there. Get that up out of there. Like you guys noticed, I'm not really gonna make this too much of a uh, long video. This is just really a, basically just an RC update. Kind of let you guys know what was going on with this. Cause I didn't want to keep making clogged up in this thick old grass. I want to keep making videos and keep putting stuff out if they wasn't gonna, um, you know, put out the replacement parts you know stuff like that if people were not gonna want to pick it up because it is a good truck it just needs the backing behind it and now that it has the upgrades and all that stuff i think i don't know man i think this thing has the potential to be popular the price the price is right the look is right the durability is there and now you can get the part so i mean you guys can kind of make your decision from there it's upgradable as you can see so it's a hobby grade vehicle for just about a hundred bucks you can catch it with a coupon for my life or just don't you can catch it with a coupon too as well so get it on sale sometimes and get it underneath the hundred dollars which is a great deal for what they say is a 10 scale but which really is a 112 scale size truck all right guys so quick update with this bad boy i'm your boy drones and dogs don't forget to like subscribe catch you guys in the next episode Doses.